Today we're just going to get right into it as your favorite talking head does his best to review another book. That's right, I'm keeping my promise. This time, it just happens to be Do You Remember Being Born by Shawn Michaels. No, not that Shawn Michaels, but a Shawn Michaels. Hi, I'm your host Chris Humphrey, and for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm just another talking head doing my best to get my opinion out there because I think it matters to somebody. And this time it just happens to be a book that I really enjoyed. Uh, Do You Remember Being Born by Shawn Michaels, and it comes out soon, and I want you guys to go out there and pick it up because I'm going to give this a 9. It's not perfect, but it's really damn good. Uh, There's not a lot of myths uh, in there, Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a brief brief description to, to see if that hooks you, and this is what me. Uh, Basically, Marion Farmer is a poet by name. She's been famous for 75 years, and now she is um, uh, challenged with the task of writing a lovely six-page poem with a AI. And she's very hesitant because she doesn't think uh, artificial intelligence is as good as it should be. She's got this challenge from her publisher, and that so she's, now she's locked in a battle with Charlotte, which is the nickname that they give the AI bot. And can AI uh, emulate humans? And it's a great parallel to what's going on uh, in the world. And I think this is why this book, book by Shawn Michaels worked so well. Uh, and I think That's why people are really going to like it. Uh, We know that AI can copy us, right? We know this. And as a wannabe writer, uh, we're always in fear that it's going to take over and chat GP and all that tea and all that crap are going to do all the writing for us. And in some sense, it already has. We call that reality television. But really what you get is you get... Uh, that AI can't be human. Uh, It it can do a hell of a job at copying us, but the essence of us, uh, it doesn't really do a good job at. uh, But it will. Uh, Mark my words, uh, technology is going to get so much better uh, in the future that we won't won't have any... um, uh, writers left. Uh, I have no doubt in my mind as I'm pulling my hair out. But I love this book. I love the uh, the contrasts in poetry and arguing with AI because you're afraid of it. Uh, but then realizing that if you work together, you can create an utter uh, masterpiece, whether it's in life or writing or just in general. It, it plays on the our fears, right, of human, right? Robots uh, taken over, uh, right? Terminator is the prime example. Skynet is here. Uh, but what he does is he creates uh, Miss Farmer, a sweet old 75-year-old uh, lady, based off of probably somebody he appreciated, a um, Miss Moore, a uh, famous poet. Uh, and if I have to tell you who that is, uh, I don't know, my uncle would roll in his grave right now, but bases it off of her, and what if she was tasked with this, and it was unique, it was uh, it was cool uh, to see, but what, what really brings it out is uh, Charlotte, the ratty's last days uh, there, uh, those last, like, uh, little chapters, right, um, is worth the whole book in gold. And, and I mean that. Uh, any writer uh, wants to learn uh, about writing uh, and that, you read just that last, like, um, the last days of it. And that there, there was just some very good lines, very good gold about um, uh, society and writing. Uh, that I like 
I loved just that uh, part. I'm glad I stuck it through. The hook already got me. I like the idea that AI is going to write better than us, and uh, eventually it will. Uh, and we're afraid of that, right? We're supposed to be afraid of technology taking over. I'm not. Uh, please take over. Uh, maybe make me like cyborg. But anyways, I liked it. I liked the challenge, uh, and I liked the clever writing style and um, uh, life imitating art. And the Mr. Michaels does a great job at uh, showing you somebody's life uh, through words of a fictional uh, person and uh, the artist through a robot uh, and how robots can't create human emotion, but they can copy and emulate uh, so well that the writer uh, does a good job at describing uh, somebody's past uh, and present uh, so beautifully uh, done. Lots of great words. It's not pretentious. It's not uh, crazy. Uh, it, there's some funny and lightheartedness between an old lady and a computer that, uh, that made it charming and seeing uh, history and art uh, through, uh, through this was just utter brilliance. Uh, and as you can see, I, I really liked it. But don't take my word for it. Go out and get it. Comes out soon, I think the 5th, which I think is today. Oh, that's right. I'm probably giving the review today. But please, get out there. Enjoy something new, uh, fresh, a funny take on a poet arguing with a robot trying to create a masterpiece at the age of 75 when we're, most people are hoping to still be breathing this Miss Farmer still has her brains in her head and her wit uh, about her. But just go out there and see a writer create art uh, and then read the author note at the very end and go, oh, man, it's happening already. Skynet, take me away. All right, guys, you can tell I loved it. Nine out of ten, you can see where it made the, on the list of books this year because that's how good it was. I think everybody should enjoy this one. But I love you guys. If I don't see you again, you know what I'm going to say. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Producer, play the X-Files theme song. Except don't because I can't afford Fox. Ciao.